So I want to talk about the uh, Proverbs 4.18 uh, verse that Jehovah's Witnesses use. And they usually use this when uh, when you bring up a false teaching that they no longer believe. Um, like, for example, like uh, Jesus down on the cross or uh, them worshiping Jesus or something like that. Or, you know, they bring up the Pro Proverbs 4.18. And, uh, and, and they believe it refers to doctrinal clarity, right? So if they believe something, they believe that they can only receive revelation, that their revelation is uh, it sheds light on an old teaching. And I spoke to a Jehovah's Witness and I asked him, well, can revelation ever be darkened? And he said, no. And that's the problem. Uh, number one, that's not what the verse is talking about. It's not talking about progressive revelation. You already have the wisdom. You're just uh, commanded to walk into wisdom and you become more righteous. So it's not about um, revealing uh, re revealing new doctrine, new light. But secondly, that renders their whole belief system false. Their current belief system false because if revelation can only become lighter, right? And can never darken, meaning the teaching can never be become unclear, well, then that means that whatever Jehovah's Witnesses believed before they before their clarification, that means that if there was no clarification before that, then that's what they believed in the first century. For example, Jehovah's Witnesses they used to believe that Jesus died on the cross. I have a I have a book. It's called The Harp of God, and in that uh, it's a, it's 1928 uh, publication, so it's very old. It's before they were called Jehovah's Witnesses, and in that um, Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, they there's pictures where Jesus was uh, on a cross, right? So they, and there was there's a hymn in there that uh, let me see I, I actually have it right here. Let me see. Well, uh. so this is the book, right? So this is the Harp of God, and let me go to it. Let me see if I can go to it. It's called it's the the chapter is called the Ransom. But yeah, see, look, check it out. So, so they believe that he died on the cross. However, now they don't believe that because they have a greater understanding of the Greek word staros. But that's for another video. But uh, they were clarified. Now, prior to um, prior to them having this clarification, Jehovah's Witnesses always believed that because if they believe that uh, the first century Christians. I witnessed the crucifixion, and Jesus was crucified on a, uh, uh, on a on a on a pole, like they believe. Well, then that means that um, that somewhere along the lines in history, they've they forsook that revelation in light of new new light that actually muddied their revelation, uh, and now they rejected the truth for a lie. So therefore, that renders that whole Proverbs four eighteen false because. Um, the uh, Jehovah's Witnesses they believe that light can only become brighter and brighter; it can never get dark. And so, that um, that un their understanding of Proverbs four eighteen is false. Also, it, uh, it it opens up a strategy when talking with Jehovah's Witnesses because it it opens up an area where they're not being exposed to, and that is their history, right? They would have to think on their history. They would have to think about these false teachings. How did these false teachings creep in? They would have to rethink the whole Proverbs 4.18 uh, interpretation because they would realize that, but they're believing lies. 